ahead and picked up some yellow paint from our local Chevrolet dealer. And then we're going to show you his progress so far on the Corvette. And he's also done a little bit of progress on the Camaro as well. Because we're going to go ahead and build both of them. Alright, so let's go ahead and show him what you've done so far. So far, I painted and put these together. Yeah, the engine looks really detailed. That looks nice. That's the LS7. All right. You also did that one right there, too. This block, the engine. You painted that up. That looks real good. That's for the Camaro. Mm -hmm. And then I did the interior. Yeah, he's working on the interior now. Just painted it. All black. Yeah, because that original one is black. Sorry for the noise, guys. So today we're going to go ahead and show him how to paint this body. All right, we'll be right. So we're in the garage because we're going to be painting. Uh, I told my son not to paint in the house so we don't get the paint fumes. So the garage is the perfect place for it. We went ahead and took a tack rag to the body so we got all the dust off of it. And we're going to go ahead and he's going to apply his first coat. We're going to just kind of evenly go across it. A light coat, just so we'll lay up. And then once we get a thin coat of paint on, we'll go ahead and put another coat on in about 10 minutes. So just go ahead and practice at it. And just go ahead and put that back because you're going to be painting that too. I don't want it to get it Okay, so you don't have to, yeah, about six inches is good, about right there. Go ahead and squirt it and see how it goes. Okay, see how it's over there? So go ahead and kind of aim, there you go. Okay, a little heavy. So just kind of, here, I'll take your arm and do it. Spray. All right, let's see how that looks. So we're gonna go ahead and keep spraying here. I didn't apply primer because typically with this paint, it holds pretty well um, because it's not a metallic, it's just a solid color. So typically I have real good luck spraying just out of the can onto a body, but we'll see how this turns out. Go ahead and spray it real lightly. It's all right. Okay, you're aiming too high there. Mm -hmm. There you go. Too close, too much. Hi. Just, okay, let's start back here. Now I'll spray. Uh, yeah, there you go. All right, no, that's good. Now we're gonna rotate it a minute. You got like a pretty good coat, all right? Now just real lightly, just go across the back. Just an even brush, brush stroke, like that. Try to aim for the car and not everything else. <laughs> All right, that's good. No, just a dusting is all we need to do for now, just for it to tack up. So just kind of aim for the bottom, not the top, and just kind of another light coat. There you go, you're getting it. All right. Now we're gonna rotate it again and catch the front. Mm -hmm. Just a light coat. All right, perfect, all right. Let's go ahead and throw a light coat on the hood there. Oops, too far, you're too close, there you go. Just a light coat. There you go. Keep going. Just spray. There you go. That's good. Perfect. Now I see a little bare area right there, so let's hit that. All right. Let's try the back again. It's kind of... Another thin coat there. Just a real thin coat. Perfect. No, it's kind of thin right there on top. Yeah, so go ahead and hit that. Okay, let's hit this corner here. All right. Now let's hit the top real lightly. Okay, that's good. We'll give it a second to tack up. Let's go ahead and hit that corner there. All right, good. Mm -hmm. Now the back again. Now the, that corner right there is thin. All right, looking good so far. Let's mm -hmm. go ahead and go across there. We're gonna apply another coat to the hood, right? Yeah. So it, right there in front of the bumper is kind of thin. All right. I'll go ahead and throw a little bit on the coat, on the hood there. Come around here and get the front. There you go. All right. That's good for now. So we're going to let this tack up for a minute. 
And we'll be right back and we'll go ahead and apply a second coat and put a heavier coat on it. It'll look really nice. Okay, okay, we're back. We're getting ready to apply the second coat now. So go ahead and hit underneath and the areas that are real thin. Let's, if you're too close, there you go. Just real light sprays. Make sure you're not painting over here. Okay, back up a little bit. All right, just real thin coats. I like that. Push the button. There you go. <laughs> no, too close, too much. All right. Turn it around. Let's do the front. All right. There. There <laughs> oh, go. my God. Put your can down there in the in the painting area. Move your can down here uh -huh. in the viewing area. Okay. Now move your hand back a little bit and just kind of go across. Right. Even, even strokes. All right, I guess too much there. All right, go ahead and rotate the car. Let's do this side. Bring it down in the paint area. All right, there you go. Now I'll go ahead and set the can down. And you're gonna go ahead and just go across the top real smoothly. All right. There you go. All right, let's go ahead and stop. Let's do the hood. Leave it there. That's fine. Right there. Nice even, even strokes. So kind of like a robot. Let's go. All right. All right. Go for it. There you go. There you go. Perfect. There you go. All right. That's enough. Let's see how that looks. Step back a little bit so I can see the reflection. Step back. There we go. Okay, a little more on there. It's got a little orange peel to it. I'll explain what orange peel is. Go ahead and give it another coat. All right. There you go. Let's see. Step back. There you go. See, now it looks nice and wet. All right. So orange peel is kind of like a orange, right? Now the surface of an orange is kind of rough. Yeah. So your paint turns out like that too. So you want a nice even wet coat and you'll avoid the orange peel. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at the body real quick. See how that turned out. It's not bad. We'll put a little more on the top. Yeah, it's a good even coat. It's a little thin on the bottom there. Yeah, good even coat. All right. Looks really good. So I'm going to set it on this side so you can hit that bottom. So bring your can right at the bottom there. A nice even stroke like a robot. Right. Don't spray over there, though. Okay, perfect. All right, perfect. Hit the top again. Okay. Now just go across it. There you go. All right. Let's check it out. Yeah, that looks good. Nice and wet. All right. Can you see that, guys? Yeah, it looks good. All right. So we're going to give that about 30 minutes to dry. And then we'll come back and put a clear coat on it. All right. You. See you in a minute. All right. Here we are. So this is the clear coat we're going to use to put color. I always have real good results using this. And this should turn out really stunning. So go ahead and we're going to take and I'm going to show you how to do this real quick. There we go. All right. So the technique to clear coat is you want to go across it and just even coats. Kind of. Uh, you want me to like flick my wrist too? Like this. Okay. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay. Well, you don't have to go all the way out here. Just kind of. I'm just kind of exaggerating a little bit. Can we bit. get the top too? Or no? You got the technique here? Just go like that. Can we get the top? And then, well, you only have to go across maybe okay. once or twice. All right. All then right. you go up here. And then and up here. And then we'll turn it. And start at the top. And go. And work here. And then keep on going like that. Okay. All right. Got that? Yes. Are you ready to try it? So start here. Work your way up by going back and forth. And then we'll come turn it around and we'll stop the start at the top 
and you work your way down. All right. So let's try it. Let's see what happens. So maybe a little too close, but give it full push on the nozzle there. And there you go. And work your way up. Perfect. All right. Don't let up on the nozzle. All right. Go ahead and start on this side. Go. All right. This well, as it turns out, the can was kind of empty, but he was able to get a nice solid coat on it, and it actually turned out really nice. Whew. Exactly. It looks real slick. So, I know it looked kind of sketchy at first, but he was able to apply a nice coat to it, and it turned out really nice. And then I also did the hood, yep. and it came out pretty yeah. well. Here's the hood. Uh, okay, <laughs> had a little malfunction here. But it turned out really great. So when it dries, we'll see if it needs any polishing. And we'll uh, go ahead and wrap it up and he'll do his next step on the procedure. And we're gonna see you next week with the final product. Thanks again, guys, for tuning in. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, we'll go ahead and hit the thumbs down. Uh, thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next one.